Good morning everyone, hope everyone has a great day as usual. First up I'm going to be showing you what I made with some of those Christmas dies from that 10 piece set that I showed you yesterday. I used the two mitts and the two hats and I made this. Really love this paper, reminds me of candy and um, the card stock was from Tuesday morning. So that was my first card using um, the hat and the mitts from the 10 piece set yesterday. My next card is made with these four wonderful little owls. These are great owls, either for a humorous birthday card or for Halloween. If you've got vellum and you want to make um, a small night light to put a tea light in, then um, the light would shine through the eyes and the noses on a little tea light holder using these dies and they're very sweet and I will measure them for you, sandwich them all together like that and they're roughly two and a quarter inches but they're really sweet, set of four little owls and this is what I made. I used distress crayons, I used the little black beads from AliExpress for the eyes and I used some stickles glitter in their beaks and I used a flower and a branch set from AliExpress. But they're cute little characters, as I said you could do them in bright primary colours and put individual ones on um, single tags but it's a lovely little set and a nice size. So that's the second thing that I did today. Third up is this set of dies, which is, um, I'm just trying to pick them up here, a set of three flowers with two leaves and um, a centre. There it is. Whoops. And I can measure these for you. I think that one, yeah, I'll measure the biggest. Biggest one is just over two and a quarter inches. And with those, I made this and I used um, an AliExpress embossing folder for the background. And I used Distress Inks and I just finished it off there with a piece of twine. So that's what I did with that daisy dye, I'll call it a daisy, um, and that looks a little vintage. Next up I used one of my Dollar Tree gift bags um, and if you saw the video that I did uh, a couple of days ago you'll see that these are plain white gift bags and you can decorate them up how you want to and here's a really simple one where the cardstock was just cut down in squares and the last one mounted up there, I don't know if you can see those on Dollar Tree foam pads and I just used a simple butterfly die from AliExpress and now I have myself a cute little gift bag that's ready to go. You can decorate these and leave them flat for storage and that makes it really useful especially if you want to make large batches for Christmas gifts or uh, little party gifts for putting herbal teas and things like that in. So that one was made using this butterfly die. Close up there. Camera seems to be working well today and I need to poke that bit out. I'll poke it out now. Paper in dies annoys me so excuse me. There we are. <laughs> I poked it out. Right so that was the little bag and the butterfly die and then for my last one I used um, an AliExpress embossing folder which is this butterfly in a lace oval and this folder measures five and three quarter inches so I've got my camera set this morning and uh, nothing is fitting in five and three quarter inches by four inches and that's the butterfly oval folder and I made this by inking it up and using an AliExpress butterfly die again. I'm going to try and raise the camera slightly just for the last little bit of this and see if we can get some more in without it going blurred. So 
that is the butterfly card that is my little Dollar Tree butterfly bag that's the embossing folder that is the daisy card as I said I'm calling it daisies this is the owl card which I think is super cute love the expressions on their faces and the first one I showed you there this little candy stripe mitten and hat card I will link as usual everything below and I hope you all have a fantastic day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.